We would be remiss if we didn't take a couple of minutes here to talk a little bit about the um, undergraduate experience and the changes that have been made there, just simply to provide a framework for this. When I was at uh, the University of Minnesota Law School in the late 70s, you could pick up the Minnesota Daily and pretty reliably there would be r various horror stories about not being able to register for classes, not being able to get your required classes in the four years you would expect to graduate, long lines, um, um, lots of unhappiness about that whole experience. Um, that seems to have changed dramatically, in fact, and maybe you could talk to our viewers a little bit about that in case some of them, like me, are of a certain age to think that maybe that which was then is still now. Well, I, I do remember those long lines. It was sort of a badge of courage to stay in, uh, and register for a class and, and hope by the time you got to the front of the line your offerings were, were still there. Uh, going back to President Udoff and through President Brunix, there's the, the, the campus has undergone a dramatic visual change in the money that was put into the beautification and, and student-centered services have been really, really, uh, really amazing. The platforms, the technology platforms for student uh, uh, on both their scheduling and their class and their 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 progress to graduation. We now have four-year graduation over 60 percent. When I went there, it was probably 10 or 15 percent, and of course, adding a fifth or sixth year on to hanging around the university. And some do like to hang around. Uh, <laughs> But mostly they want to graduate. My, my father was a five-year <laughs> graduate, and his business partner was six. So okay. uh, we're familiar with this phenomenon. Yeah, I was four and a half years, I, I think. And, uh, but uh, it's it's being intentional and organized and communicative about keeping students. There really isn't a lot of time for them to to um, to change courses and change direction. And so it's we're we're making good progress in the four-year and six-year graduation right I think students do enjoy living on campus there is a fuller experience now of uh, rec recreationally and socially and academically and it, it is uh, we've always had great academics and great teachers but creating a full experience and you know having a stadium on campus so the athletic side is not unimportant for students so it's uh, it is a uh, it's been a big it's been a big change out the other real asset around campus is it's it's urban location and proximity to downtown and for students from any for just a lot of students that like like the activity level of a, of a major city in proximity and of course we're on the green line now and have bus service uh, throughout the Twin Cities so it is a it's a it's it's a center of activity and with all the off-campus housing it's been built both for students and non-students, it's become a destination point in in the Twin Cities, and that almost rivals the Lake area, and and all that's very different.